Dan, that is an amazing visual feast for really people is. there. But for you as an actor, I mean, in days of old, they'd have put a big head on you and hair and stuck it all on with glue and whatever. Yes. What happens, and is it more difficult as an actor because of computer-generated things? Well, it isn't, it isn't. They sort of, they created this out of two different kinds of CGI technology fused together, never been done before. So I was puppeteering a muscle suit on the set, covered in grey lycra and uh, on ten-inch stilts. Oh. And I was that also all the body you capture do was done on the set. Ten in yeah, you're well, dancing in stilts. But then the facial capture is done separately. So every week I'd go into a booth and they'd spray my face with UV dots, and I would do everything we'd done the previous week, whether it was eating, sleeping, roaring, waltzing, just do it again with my face, and just so sit there. So think and, waltzing, and you do and waltz. What's your waltzing face? Like that. <laughs> See, when you were a young actor. <laughs> And you're, you're dreaming of being on stage and screen and whatever. Yeah. You, you could never have... Predicted. Well, it didn't exist. This yeah. kind of film just didn't exist, so it, kind of, it blows my mind. It the big suit. How, how much did that weigh? It's about 40 pounds, so which is... Th how many three stones, is it? Three stones? Let's go with three stones. Let's go so with a lot stones. of bags of potatoes. Stones. Stones. Three, a lot of potatoes, yes. exactly, Eamon. So. Potatoes? Uh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Uh -huh. So what was it that was like, being on set in that all Carrying day? a lot of potatoes. Yeah. Uh, well, I was eating a lot of potatoes and uh, carrying a lot of potatoes. It was very heavy. And, and, and hot. And hot and awkward and beastly. It was beastly. <laughs> beastly? Yeah. <laughs> no. There is a beast. There he is. I don't think it's very good. It's very, Thank very, you very good. Much. Yeah, very good. It's a good but likeness, isn't it? The thing is, people will buy it in the shop and they'll have no idea it's yours. In years to come, you'll have grandchildren, whatever, and they'll have these dolls. They have no idea that that's your face there. It's my uh, body, though. It's, your... <laughs> <laughs> and it's a great thrill having a doll. It kind of is. I'm sort of wondering if, he, if his clothes are interchangeable with other sort of action <laughs> men, G.I. <laughs> Joe or something, and we could, yeah, get a bit of crossover. I'm talking of children, your yes. daughter... That your was daughter. a tail. I was only looking at the tail. <laughs> That's all it was. I was just saying, there's a tail up there. That's quite... And the tail moves. St Patrick's Day has started early <laughs> here, folks. It's very authentic. Very and, authentic. No, your, daughter, your daughter, Willow, who is... Yes. Seven, so she must be loving that Daddy's in this amazing movie. She story. is, and do you know what? I mean, it's, she was five when we made this film, and so it's been it's been months in the work. The beast's falling on the floor, and uh, no, she was five when we made it, and uh, it was just magic all the way through. And uh, you know, getting getting to bring my kids on set and uh, and then show them the film, you know, a couple of years down the line. So I love making family films. Talk really. about the dress, yeah. the, yellow Lucy, the yellow dress. Lucy wants to talk about the dress. We're going to yes, move on. Talk we need to talk the about the dress. Very Here comes the dress. So during during the filming and during you know during the process of uh, of developing the film, and they were obviously working on the dress. What style was it going to be? What colour and all this kind of thing. And uh, during that time, Emma Watson came over to our house for dinner. You name dropper. And <laughs> yeah, it's on the poster. Um, <laughs> Ryland's yeah. come to our house for dinner. <laughs> yeah. Well, he hasn't actually. We've gone to his. You've invited him a couple That's of times. We can't gets, trump right? Emma Watson. We can't trump Emma Watson. And so we were talking about the dress and the dress design. And Willow, who was five at the time, she kind of overheard the conversation, and we were talking away. And she nipped off next door, pen and paper, and came back about half an hour later with five different dress designs. Okay. I've got some ideas and she sat down with Emma, talked her through these dress designs and Emma was so sweet with her and just sat with her and you know different merits of the different dresses. Anyway they picked one and a few weeks later Willow comes on set to see the ballroom scene where we're dancing and Daddy's in his stilts on his hippo suit and but Emma is there in the dress okay. and she just looked at me and she went yeah that's the one. Oh. Yeah. Well, it, it is incredible, as I said at the start, an absolute visual feast and um, the musical soundtrack. A lot of people, a lot of grown women, uh, like Lucy, our Lucy. producer, knows the soundtrack <laughs> inside out, so she's looking forward to that as well. Thank you. Uh, Dan, good luck with whatever Thank lies ahead. Thank you very ahead. much. Before uh, I go, yes, the other yes. important thing that's happening today is your birthday. I brought oh, you a little gift. Oh, thank you. Oh, look. Oh, this is the perfume. It's the bell scent. The bell there scent. is a beast one. Ah! <laughs> but you don't want to smell. Oh, that's really kind you don't of you, want to Dan. Smell that one. Thank Very you. Kind of you, Dan. That's really Lovely kind. Of Happy birthday. Happy I might have to kiss you for that. Not much to live up to. Thank we'll you. We'll be back after the break.